so I forced myself to, to give this talk because I'm supposed to design a, an AI course for students who have learned basic Python and they want to do some application work. And in, in my job, I'm, I'm actually a part-time educator only. In my job, I actually do robotics in uh, warehouses. So I thought I will do something related to robotics also in my course. Um, so I'll use this particular project called Project Malmo. Um, to start off, I think one of the, perhaps the grand challenge in AI is to build something like an R2D2 or a C3PO. Uh, I think just now Ben said he was the Jedi Master. So in fact, the analogy is quite good because we do want to have advanced robotics like this where we can talk to them, they can do things in the world, they can, they can operate computers, operate um, fighter planes and things like that. So one of the models we have for um, this kind of agents is this very standard um, uh, observe uh, perception um, and then the agent acts on the perception and uh, affects the environment. And very much also this is how people kind of works, right? Except the ro robots do this very fast, many, many times a second. So how can we use this model and teach this model in class? But to do that, we need a very somewhat uh, simulation of the environment and you know, simulation of the robots. So it's quite difficult to do normally. Um, it turns out that a couple of years ago, Microsoft um, open sourced a project called Project Malmo. It's actually a Minecraft plugin. Uh, and the interesting thing, it also comes with Minecraft. So you don't have to buy Minecraft or pay for Minecraft. If, if you install this, it comes with Minecraft. It comes with the plugin, everything fully set up. Um, and it basically lets you use Minecraft as this simulated world where the robot is going to, the robot is the Minecraft uh, character, right? So the students write code to control the Minecraft character. So let me show you what you can do. So this is some of the example um, missions. So just like in cosmology, we also have missions in Malmo. Uh, a mission in Malmo is a task for the agent to solve. In this particular mission here, this is called the cliff walking mission. It's actually a very classical AI task. Um, in here, in, in this implementation, the agent is supposed to collect the diamond. So it starts off at the granite block and supposed to walk across this cliff and collect the diamond. This is a cliff because if you go off, you fall into the lava and die. Um, <laughs> in this mission, actually, they did it using um, uh, tabular cue learning or reinforcement learning. But uh, probably in my course, we would just hand write the, the, in, the, the brain of the agent, right? So the, the student will figure out how to uh, move around and sense the environment. And in fact, this project problem is very customizable. It has different models of sensing. So you can either sense the environment in discrete blocks. You can, the agent can tell what are the blocks around it. Or if you're working with more advanced students, you can give the agent the video feed of the uh, 3D world. It gets in terms of pixels. And it needs to figure out what each pixel represents. Right? This is going to the area of computer vision already. But I won't dwell on that too much. Another kind of task you can actually, you can actually do, this is run by um, Project Malmo itself in 2017, was a collaborative task. So here you have the agent working with a person. So here the, the agent is supposed to help the person corral the pig. So there's a human being, and then there's a, there's a, there's a sort of a robot, R2-D2. The agent is supposed to help the, um, uh, the human person um, corral the pig into a corner to catch the pig, so-called. Uh, right? um, so you can see there's many different kinds of tasks. You can do this, a multi-agent kind of system right, where the robot must assist the, the person. Okay, so this being a Python workshop, I'll talk a little bit about Python, because if you look at Project Malmo itself, it um, provides a C API. And they have wrappers for the C API to call it from different languages, Python being one of them. Python being actually one of the most um, updated uh, language in the project because you see most of the examples are written in Python. Uh, but unfortunately, the C API is a little bit hard to use because it's fairly low level. So what I have done as part of building up this course is to create a more Pythonic API. So this is what it um, looks like at the moment. So you will initialize the, the... So what happens is, just to explain the architecture, you will start off, you will launch Minecraft from the Project Malmo um, download and then this will start off a little mini server on the Minecraft um, in the plugin itself. Then you can connect to this uh, Malmo in the Minecraft instance from Python. So it's a client server architecture. Right? So here we're connecting to the, so when you, click, when you say start mission, for example, you're connecting to the plugin that is running as a local server uh, inside the Minecraft. And here we're just showing you doing like a move, moving forward 10 steps. But there are other actions, you can pick up objects, you can, you can destroy blocks and whatever else the agent can do in the Minecraft world. Uh, so, uh, as I said, this is the start of a, a demo of a course to create um, this project, this using Project Malmo. Um, the current tutorials, if you look at Project Malmo right now, are very much aimed at advanced students, including things like reinforcement learning, uh, you know, queue learning, and things like this. So, right now, there's sort of a lack of beginner-friendly courses, uh, beginner-friendly missions, I guess I'll call them, because that's what Project Malmo uses. Uh, so, part of the coursework is also to develop some of these missions that the students can try. They are much easier to do. You don't need to know about reinforcement learning and things like that. You can just um, program the agent directly in Python. So give it the instructions of how to perform. 
but we can, through the mission setup, give the robot different kind of environments. So it's not really hard coded. You cannot just have a single solution because maybe for the cliff walking, the lava can appear in different places. So the agent must really observe where the lava is and try to avoid it intelligently, right? Not just bash through the, the level. Um, the other one, if you try to do this like I'm doing on Linux, it's a little bit complicated because it's based on a C library. So you might need to compile it on, on your machine to run with all the correct uh, dependencies. So it'd be great to actually have the um, Python part be pure Python because we can actually talk to the, the Minecraft server because it's just a normal um, local RPC calls. Local, um, I think it's an it's a, it's a HTTP calls through the uh, local loopback interface. We could probably do it in pure Python without requiring the native code. That will make it a lot easier to distribute it to different platforms. Yep. So that's all I have for you today. Thanks. <laughs>